Hey guys, welcome back to GTA 5. We have a couple of missions ready to go for Devin with both Franklin and Trevor. So let's just jump in and get started with those ones. So we have started Lucky with miss. dear old Trevor and we are going to be flying a chopper today. So I'm looking forward to that. I don't mind flying here. We've got a message from Maud. Yes, we've done one for you, Maud. My my darling Maud. Let's just open her email. Larry Tupper. Larry Tupper. Ooh, where's that? Who knows? It doesn't really give me much of a hint. I enjoy doing the the bail uh, guy last time. Maud's bounty. That was really fun. It, it could have gone better. But you know me, sometimes it just doesn't. Alright, so we are meeting Devin here. Apparently, where oops, where our car is. Is our car sitting in the impound somewhere? Like Where's our car? Hang on. What? Where's my vehicle? Is this a vehicle? Oh! Okay, retrieve an impounded vehicle. Pick a door, Sand King XL. None of them are Trevor's vehicle though. I, I don't really know where Trevor's vehicle actually is at the moment. So let's just get this out. I look, I don't even remember driving that. And having it impounded <laughs> but it's a nice one so whoa it's massive okay this is probably going to come in handy today because it's so big we'll use it oh a nighttime eye in the sky what did what did you just do in the pin did you vomit in there hang on trevor I got. I have to look in the bin. I think he vomited in there. Oh, Trevor. He's so gross. He's honestly so gross. Okay, Devin, let's go fly. Devin Weston sent me. Oh, oh, right. Uh, the helipad is on the roof. It seems very odd to be allowed Shit, I think it might be worse off than me. in here <laughs> and not being chased. Let's have a, a drink for our hell. There we go. <laughs> he just chucks it on the floor. This is actually really cool to have a look around here. They're not even saying anything. All right. I guess we have full run of the police station. I'm putting your ass in the cage. Oh, I got armor, nice. No, you got the wrong guy, man. You pissed off the wrong cop, maggot. Oh. Please, please, just take it easy. You pissed off the wrong officer. Can I say what anything? What are you gonna do to me? No. Oh. I, I think I'm gonna fix your attitude. <laughs> this poor guy. I feel sorry. You don't sorry. eyeball me. I eyeball you. Okay, I'm going then. How do I get upstairs? Don't eyeball me. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to annoy that fella either. All right, roof access to the helicopter. It feels very strange to be allowed in here as Trevor as crazy Trevor along. jump in I am oh are you flying we're not flying I'm gonna hop in the back oh okay we'll go right along sure let's go all right Load up the scanner <laughs> thing it can pick up those new ID cards right when it's on just oh. fly where I point okay booting up you can use the stick to move the camera. Zoom in and out. It'll pick up pedestrians carrying the 2012 SA State License. If you target them, the scanner accesses the database and pulls their record. Sounds good. We're gonna go see my pal. So hey, you researching a movie or TV? You're a screenwriter. 
writer, right? Mm, not exactly. <laughs> An actor? Kind of smells like you're researching a role. Hey, buddy, look, I got a confession, okay? I'm not an actor, or a writer, or the son of a bigwig. I'm a criminal, and your boss kind of sold you to me. Sold me? I'm afraid so. Like chattel. Huh? <laughs> now we got that clear, you need to know we're looking for a high-value automobile. Once we find it, my guy in the ground will jack it, and we're grave. Nice. So, it's there somewhere, so we just have to get a little bit closer, please. Right, right. There he is, over by the oil derrick. Let's see if we can scan him. There he is. Oh, this is amazing. I love this. Oh, Public that's... exposure! <gasps> What's the deal, Franklin? Man, fuck that. I got a high ass, homie. What time I'll pick a brother up for any old shit? You want me to take it out on the <laughs> LSPD representative sitting beside me? Man, just get the house. Do we looking for us down that way? I'll that's follow the so car. funny. How it? You heard the man. Wherever you want to go. I love that. That is so awesome. I would, I want to know if I can scan. You arrested my random American <laughs> friend for a minor infraction. The LSPD disgusts me. Well, it's not me. I mean, there's some bad apples in the department, but any accusation of a racist culture, uh, you want to bullshit me? You can bullshit the freeway. We do community outreach, <laughs> but we have minority quotas. Yeah, 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 your nice dick's got a minority quota. I should take... Look, oh, please. <laughs> we come so far in the last two decades. Oh, you're lucky I can't use this thing with one hand and fly with the other. I love that. I love that. Good on you, Trevor. Good on you. <laughs> That's so funny about Franklin. <laughs> like Come in, Franklin. Special. We're in position over Howick mm. Avenue. What's the name of the suspect? Whose name is Chad Mulligan. Okay. Alright? Chad Mulligan. Roger that. Alright. Well, we have a guy just in that little alleyway there that we are going to investigate. Oh! The stupid boxes! Who is that fella? Ten years on the job and all they care about is the bottom line. One. I want to... Oh. That's right, this guy. I wanted to... Listen I in. got you, you creep. It's a free country. Oh. I know my rights. It's him! You got him! Not Mulligan. You're showing it off. Take more than me, look. Tax evasion. You're a very Not sick man. Suspect. You tell yourself that. She wanted it. If she wanted oh. it, why are you sneaking around? Katie in the area. Logan. I repeat, suspect not found in the area. All right, all right. He might be a couple blocks east of this. <laughs> Roger that. That's the buzz. You're both getting off on this. Don't try to deny it. I think you need help, man. <laughs> hey, the pervert. You are. Swingers. Please hit him. <laughs> oh, Knock his brains out. People are interesting. That's so cool. Uh, all right, we'll try these guys. Today you're going off to work with all those pretty women. <laughs> the brothel. <gasps> Come in, Franklin. We've got a positive ID on the suspect. I repeat, we have visual on Chad Mulligan. No vehicle in sight. All right, look, cool. We're looking for his lockup, dog. All right, stay on and look out. Mm -hmm, Roger mm -hmm. that. Okay, so we need to track him. So he's with his girlfriend, I think. So I'm gonna keep holding in the listening button. Oh, there's a dog. Is that Chop? Hang on, is that? Control your dog, asshole. Easy, pal. He's in quite a fragile state emotionally. Oh no, that's not Chop. That's not Chop. Nice, great. You've upset him. Maybe that was. No, that. We have lost sight of the suspect. Might have to send Pilot Boy down to draw him out. <laughs> Hold on, wait. He should come out from behind that building. Yes, there he is. That's so cool. This is really, really fun. I love this. 
I do. I love foot. spying on people. Okay. Guys. This I is awesome. Jump. I ain't far away. <laughs> Hey, rise and shine! Huh? Oh, man. Seize the day! Go on! There he is again. Okay. This is cool. Oh, that's his garage. Nice. Alright. Oh, that's Franklin. Hey, motherfucker! Oh, shit! Cool. Oh, fuck! Okay, so he's gonna take off. Do we swap to... Oh, what happened? nice. Hey, look, just stay on him, man, and let me know where he is. Yep, I got you, don't worry. That is so cool. I'm... Suspect sighted going south on Dutch Drive. Could we have started Suspect this as Franklin? That would have been so cool, Arango. too. Going down an alleyway. All right, this is a nice car. Copy unit three, we have reports of dangerous driving in your sector. Uh, well, this is copper unit three. <laughs> reports are greatly exaggerated. Over. <laughs> oh, he's amazing. Oh, there he is. Hey, where is he, man? Hang on, that's not him. Yeah, that's him. Is that him? Hang on, hey, what? Come on, I... here, come on. Oh no. I, oh, I've lost. I lost him. I thought that was him coming out because it was uh, a black color. Man. Okay, I'll try that one again. All right. What happened? I might hey, keep the zoom man. out this no time. Your boy Dad uh, nearly totaled the score. Oh. There he is. Ah, there he is. I got it. I got it. That's better. Okay, I see the motherfucker, man. I got this. All right, you got this, Franklin. I know you do. You are amazing. There he is. Oh, hey, Franklin. Suspect back on Del Perro, heading west. <laughs> Get a move on, Franklin. He's getting away from you. Hey, you are high, right? Reckless driver oh, sighted crossing Dorset Drive. Is he making that sound? Like. Much Barrow. better job. Oh, parking lot. Lost sight of suspect near a parking garage. Request ground units to investigate. <laughs> Pilot boy, it goes down. I need to see inside the building. Oh, there's Franklin. Okay. All right. So where is this guy? Black Z type. Slow and steady. This camera's giving me a little air sickness. I get oh no. When I'm queasy. Yes. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'll keep. Where is this baby? All garage access clear. Suspect is in the building. Alright. So I can't see where? him. Need some help here, flyboy. Where is he? Mm. Uh, you can toggle to oh. normal vision if you think that would help. Oh. Well, you might have just earned yourself a reprieve. You know, I think I'm developing <laughs> feelings for you. <laughs> Alright. Oh, this might help. Yes. Hey. That one. Oh, I there. Hey, take a look around. There he is. is that another heat source? Ooh. Could be Chad in. Man in his car to my right. Who looks like he's on the phone? Could be that guy. Uh, dude could be calling the fans, homie. Mm. Hey, it's not him, dog. I hope this motherfucker in here. What was that guy up to? Del Perro, side of the lot. There's a man by a car. I'll check him out. He's out of the car, though. Hey, this ain't the ride we have. Oh, okay. He's working on the bug. Uh, so it's not that guy. That guy is just standing around. Guy. Standing over by a row of cars. Middle of the floor. 
That's it. Hey, hey, oh. damn. You know, this place is stink. Stank ass motherfucker. Oh, is he going to the toilet? <laughs> nice. <laughs> looks like a man leaning against a car to my left. He looks very uh -huh. casual. Extremely casual, though. Ah, dude's really creepy, but he ain't our creep. Oh, that Near guy. Side of the garage, on my left. Yeah, it's probably the last, the, the last guy that we even hey, looked at. The there we go. I know you think this car might be worth something, but it ain't. Whoa, whoa, whoa! It's yours, man. Enjoy! <laughs> I mean, that car's a bit flashy for my taste. Just take it and chill out. Be mellow. Relax. I'm just gonna get out of your way. <laughs> we'll leave then. Okay, so he's... Baby. No, no. Oh, he's so sad now. Look, <laughs> his baby, his beautiful car. Mr. Clinton. Hey, oh. mom, right? I got that car for y'all. The Z type? Mr. Weston will be glad you caught us. He wanted to see it before we took off. We're on the way to his personal hangar oh. at Los Santos International. I'll tell them to expect you at the gate. All right. All hey, right. I'm delivering the ride to Los Santos International. Hey, is the lady gonna be there? Or just a dick who ain't paying us till we get all the cars. Shit, I think they both gonna be there, dog. Devin and Molly. <laughs> Say hello from me to Molly. Man, I ain't hitting on nobody for you, man. Least of all, her. <laughs> Come on, why not? It's about time I settled down. Aww. Shit, man, you need like a lion tamer or some shit. This girl, man, she got balls, dog, but she needs some serious stones to handle your ass. Yes. Just say hello. I wonder man, if Man, I ain't gonna be a part of that. After everything I've done for you, ah, you are just like Michael. <laughs> so, uh, the old hanging oh, no. dad has only gone and reported that car oh. stolen. Shit, and I spared this motherfucker. <gasps> oh, I could have killed that guy. Oh, wow. This shouldn't be a problem, though. This shouldn't be a problem. So, I'm guessing that if we killed him, then obviously we wouldn't have this to deal with right now. This travels place. This should be just fine, though. Just hang out here. They're looking for us, but over in the streets, I don't think they're going to be able to find us here on the beach at all. Should be fine. And there we go. Easy. I do hope that Franklin says hello to Molly. <laughs> or Trevor. <gasps> That's gonna be awesome. I would like to see Trevor settle down, but that's probably not the right choice for him. <laughs> I think he's wasting his time. I don't think that Franklin. Whoa, that was close. I don't think. Hey, you don't see me driving here? I don't think that Franklin would have necessarily killed that guy anyway in the parking garage. But if we did, that would have saved just a couple of minutes of drama. But I just don't really see him doing something like that. Trevor, maybe. Michael, maybe. I don't know about Franklin, though. Okay, I do have a couple of scrapes on the car. I don't know if they're going to complain about that. Hopefully not. Hello. Hey, I'm supposed to meet Devin Weston here. Mr. Weston's hangar is up there on the left. Okay. Oh, it actually has his name there. Devin Weston. Oh, wow. 
Fancy. Devon Weston, Jet Charter. Cool. Hang on, what's going on with that plane in the background? Hang on. Wait, guys. I'm curious about <laughs> what happened. So those are the noises that you hear, the random explosions. It's when the planes load in incorrectly and then explode. That's so funny. Hi, have your car. Oh, there she is. <laughs> You know, if this beauty was a woman, I'd have to break my 20 and under rule. Man, I'll just stick to driving, all right? Ew. Hey, tell me something. You know how many of these things they make? Uh, shit, like 10? No, not like 10, man. Exactly 10. Oh, wow, man. You one of them type of dudes, huh? Tell you something. How'd you like to drive a car like this one, then, man? For real. Like this? Or this? Oh, man, right back at me, homie. Really nice. Hey, you know something? You're not like those uh, snowbird retiree pals of yours. You are sharp, man. Man, I'm just looking for a paycheck for my services. Mm. No, don't worry. It'll come. That'll come. But right now, it is life lesson time, pal. You have got to wake up to what's real in this situation, bro. Take me, right? I am opportunity. I'm security. I'm fast cars, blow jobs. I got the world on a plate. Those two clowns, oh man, they are the worst kind of disaster that can ever come down. They are a full core meltdown, and you're just standing there soaking up major radiation. You have got to take stock, man. Make that call before it's too late. Yeah, all right, man. I will. <laughs> before it's too late, man. Yeah, uh, yeah. Just take any car and go. Oh, nice. Thank you. Uh, Trevor says hi. <laughs> take any car and go. So where's the Z type? It's not here. Okay, so you're only gonna give me boring cars to pick from then. Uh, this one. Okay. Is this like um, Michael's car that Jimmy currently has? It's pretty nice. I do miss Michael's car. Let me out. Well, there we go. Eye in the sky. We did pretty good with that. Eavesdropper. Yes, that's cool. I eavesdropped on everybody. Beautiful. So we have one more car to steal, I think, before we get paid for that. I did you a solid, kid. Martin Madrazo needs help with something. He wanted you. I got Trevor on board. Don't mention it. We got to go up to his ranch off Sonora Road. Okay. Uh, so what is that? So the Devon marker is gone from... Franklin's map I think because that particular one was working with Trevor as well so we may get another little call from Devin for the final car because I think he wanted five cars oh no there's two more cars left we've got three cars so far I think that he wanted five cars it's either four or five um oh Beverly why is he there interesting we oh another epsilon thing that's so cool okay guys what i may actually do is i've noticed that the martin madrazo is in blue for michael so i may actually see if i can start that one as michael Because it's in his color, which just oh, makes sense. Oh, man. I feel like crap. Well, look after yourself more, Michael. I care about you, okay? I care about you. Please look after yourself. That Epsilon, really keen on doing that today as well. But for now, I want to go and see no, Martin. We haven't... Well, that guy just mentioned Epsilon. I don't believe any of that crap. A 
Okay, that's listen the in. Only way to land any decent gigs in this town, man. Yeah, well, Kiflom yourself too, buddy. Later. <laughs> Kiflom. Is this for real? Kiflom. Hey there. Hi there. My mistake. I, I don't want any trouble. Kiflom. You should get some help with that personality of yours. <laughs> yeah, sure. Whatever. <laughs> Kiflom, brother, brother. Or is it uncle, brother? I don't know what it is. Who's Kiflom? I'm a brother. No, oh, he doesn't care. I do honestly have to wonder though why Michael is wanting to involve himself with Martin Madrazo. Or perhaps he got coerced into it, especially after what happened. Um, if you guys don't remember, Martin Madrazo was the owner of the house that we pulled down off its stilts, which pretty much started all of this mess so we are now going to go and see him at his house oh geez well we've got him the two and a half million back I mean we did good we did good look before I go in there I want to ruin his plants I want to drive in his garden <laughs> I want to ruin his beautiful lawn. Actually, I will. Because I'm, I'm bad. And I've noticed a little golf course out the back here too. I'm going to ruin that as well. And then I'm going to go and start the mission. <laughs> there. I simply just got lost on the way that's all hey he's doing his own what is this wrecking this of the thing. you said you wanted work <laughs> this is work uh-huh and who's the guy you'll see yes hi <laughs> We're looking for Mr. Madrazzo. <laughs> right this way, gentlemen. This is so funny. <laughs> Patricia, get us something to drink, would you? Quickly! Hey, good to see you again, Michael. Mm. <laughs> Likewise. Uh, this is my friend Trevor. Uh, sit down. Sit, sit, sit. So what did you tell him about me, about Martin Madrazzo? <laughs> Martin's an old friend of mine, Trevor. <laughs> the truth. Martine is a terrifying psychopath who tried to kill me. Exactly. Uh, but some people, they no longer fear me as much as they used to. People who oh. wear clothes to me. Uh, my cousin, uh, you met in Michael. Uh. <laughs> well, apparently, he's thinking about testifying against me. So I have him killed. I'm going to. By you. Our debt was settled. Oh. This is a favor. For a friend. But does friendship mean nothing these days? Ah, uh, hello? What's the deal? <laughs> this is him. Javier. He's flying off to Liberty City this afternoon. <whistles> and he's taking some files of mine. Innocent files that um, I need back. There's a gun set up in the hills. I have a man watching at the airport. We'll let you know, and when he flies by, shoot him down. And get the files back. <laughs> a man was a pay. <laughs> huh? Trevor, come on. You still want the drink? Not now! Pendeja! Oh, wow. So rude. Alright, you grab a vehicle, something versatile. I'll handle the gun. Alright! <laughs> Am I. Okay, we're still Michael. That was so. so he's so rude to that lady. Hey! Well, let's stay in touch on the headsets. Fool! Leave it alone, right? No. You're a waste of space on this earth. <laughs> you fool! Moron! <laughs> Idiot! Ain't you got a ride, scumbag? Why hasn't someone sensible shot you yet? <laughs> you make me want emigrate. <laughs> Get your own. Oh my god. You make me want oh, no. a lobotomy. I mean, it's why, oh why do you exist? Leave it alone, right? 
You look like you struggle with simple tasks. <laughs> You're a total moron. Oh my god. Hey, you got a ride, scumbag. <laughs> Brainless fool. Turd. <laughs> you are such an ass. Get your own. Oh, really? You are utterly ridiculous. He's not. What? You dumbass. Okay. Leave it alone. I... All right, I'm going. I'm gonna crash into him. You lose a very big bet. <laughs> you depressing <laughs> Oh, okay. I've had my fun. <laughs> that was pretty good though. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Bye Trevor. Oh, that was awesome. I think we exhausted most of his insult lines. That was so good. I thought that Michael, I thought that, I thought that Franklin was going to be involved in this because Franklin got the message from Michael, but Franklin just not here. I'll have to double check that, that text. Oh, nice. Yeah, okay. Well, I ain't at the observatory yet. Start heading that way. By the way, I know why you took me there to that guy's house. Understood. Understood what? That he's a terrifying psycho and that you might have that in common? <laughs> what is it? We gotta work for him. We don't gotta work for anyone, but I read you, man, loud and clear. What are you talking about? All that Aztec stuff. Those weird little artifacts. What? The little fertility statues, whatever. The guy has trouble getting it out. Oh. We'll clear two, three million on those. Easy. Perverts will pay anything for hope. Oh, wow. We weren't casing the joint. We didn't agree to a fee for this job. So what's it all about? Okay. The guy lives well. That don't mean we're robbing him. But it does mean he's got money to pay people who help him. When the time comes, he'll do the right thing. If he don't, please, let me handle it. You don't get a wife like that without being rich and an asshole, right? <laughs> the fuck? I love that. Oh, that's awesome. I do honestly love how Trevor has come to his own conclusion of what they were doing there, casing the joint wanting to steal his little infertility statues and artifacts that's gorgeous trevor but yeah i don't exactly know just yet why we are working for madrazo when we have settled that debt with him we've paid him back the two and a half million so i don't know why i don't know why a lot of these missions and the reasons why we start them and working for these people are just not really they don't make sense to me a lot of it doesn't make sense but that's gta all right so get in the van hang on next time you come by you got a bottle of ice for me where is the van am i lost all right i see the van oh, with the gun is. in it you nearby not oh. far out shoot the plane it's awesome. Oh, this... The gun? Oh, what? Hang on. Hang on. How do I get... How do I operate the gun? Oh, there we go. It's... It's black. What? Oh, there... See, if you could see this gun, it might convince you Martin Madrazo ain't someone to be messing mm. with. The fancier the gun, the bigger the pussy <laughs> Well, I can see two Keep looking for it. planes. I got her. Southwest of the city. Gotta shoot in front to compensate for the speed oh, of the jet. Oh, there. Aim for the red target calculated. Oh, I see. Oh, my God. It's gonna be... I, I thought that was gonna be harder than... What it was. That is so terrible and so scary. 
down right here oh my gosh okay follow the plane and get the package well, where's the plane oh there it is okay oh this is cool oh, I love this. okay there you go I love him plane ain't following the road I gotta go cross country mm -hmm. This is fun. There's a small jump coming up. <laughs> Wee. Oh, that's Whoa. awesome. This is flight November 9 or Charlie Echo. Our engine number two is blown. Run to November 9 Charlie Echo. Fly at 240. Stay yourself on board. an amazing pilot to cleanly through that but no let him survive but nope if you don't attack me you can live how do I get inside the oh, oh wow this is honestly so tragic I don't think Trevor thinks about anything like that he doesn't think these poor people <laughs> and explain the human cost of this area. <laughs> oh, take it easy, man. Listen to me. We'll talk about that later. I want you to just drop off the files. I gotta get rid of this rifle, then we'll talk. Wow. Jeez. All right, so we're back to Michael. Yes, in the van. Okay, so where can we, where can we dump this thing? anywhere I guess we're not actually far from Madrazo's 
place, I don't think. We could possibly intercept Trevor. Oh, hang on. Oh, destroy the van. Okay. Okay, okay. Let's do that on top of this delightful scenic part. <laughs> and we can use... Oh, I was going to use like a sticky bomb. But no, we are... There we go. <laughs> Alright, let's... Uh... Let's start a fire. And there we go. You know what? I actually really love it. That single shot caused a bunch of crows to core, which is just so awesome. That should start to... Yes, look at that. Oh, we are going to Martin's house. Awesome. That is so cool. so lost in this beautiful world what there's been a change of plans you don't need to come to the ranch meet me at stoner cement works a little up sonora road from there what are you doing trevor nothing you wouldn't do trevor trevor <laughs> ah, i wouldn't He's do somehow i don't believe that get out lady so now we're Shit. going to the cement works Oh, sorry, Sir. lady. <laughs> Michael Over said here. sorry as well. All right. Oh, what? Oh, come on, please. I barely did anything. I just stole a little tiny car and then ran a lady over. That's not that bad. That is just not that bad at all. Oh well, they're just too sensitive. Very sensitive. Oh dear. No, that's not good. That's not gone well. Oh no, that's not gone well either. <laughs> that's not gone well at all. Can I get out of here before those cops show up? This car is quiet. What is it? It's a Cheval Surge. Very nice. I like it. The booth is opened up, which I think is really quite interesting. There are so many beautiful, intricate details in this game that just make it so, so much fun. This has to be an electric car, hey? It's so quiet and gorgeous. Okay, so we're going to the cement works. <laughs> the only thing I can think of with the cement place is um, burying someone in cement or their feet or something. Those old time sort of gangster things. <gasps> Cow! Cow! That's so cool. There's cows. That's beautiful. I'll have to take Franklin out here and get a picture of them. Watch for stopped vehicles. Oh, this place is very pretty. So Stoner Cement Works. Where is he? <laughs> oh, he's not here. Okay. So he's meeting us here, but he's taking his sweet time. Oh, there he is. Is it? Yep, that's Trevor. What's he got planned? Uh, the fuck has happened? Why did he have his car? Oh, what? Piece of turd, huh? No wonder people are stabbing him in the back. What happened? Cheap bastard. You know, I really don't know why you mess around with people like that, Mike. I mean, really, I Trevor! don't. Answer fucking oh, question. Oh no. I asked for a fair day's oh, pay no. after a fair day's work. And he kind of got a little angry. So I admit, I kind of got a little angry. Oh no. Did you kill him? 
What kind of fucking animal do you take me for? No, I didn't kill him. Oh, fuck. But I did kidnap his wife. Oh, no. Oh, shit. What the fuck did you do? Oh, I just told you what I just did. Now, oh, shit. Uh, unfortunately, I think that we're gonna have to lay low for a little while while, you know, we discuss oh, no. things with oh, Martin. Oh, my God. Right, thanks. Why don't you hop in the back? All right, now, Patricia, she already called shotgun. <laughs> now, I know a nice little place so we can bad. hang out. You know, it's a, a very relaxing little spot. Look at my getaway, if you will. A cabin <laughs> in the woods. You know what I'm saying. Where? Where is he going to take him? What, what's happening now? We're just getting to who Come on. Come on. oh Come on. hang on what you heard Chuck. oh michael and trevor are lying low in the country switch unavailable what ah. oh wow no way again Oh no, no, I've got things I want to do as Michael and Trevor. I need to get those celebrity items. I need to do Epsilon. Oh man. Oh no, I'm so bothered. I'm so upset. How long is this going to go on for? Hey chop. <laughs> Can I? I've got a ball. Okay, I'll tr I'll throw you the ball to you a few times. Go get the ball, chop. <laughs> oh my gosh, I cannot believe what Trevor has done. This is just Good chop. Good chop. so so bad. We've already had so much problem with um. You know the way home, chop. Go. Bye, chop. Hang on, hang on. Could I have driven him home in my car? Oh no, Chop, come back. Oh no, I don't want to throw a grenade at him. I wanted to take him home in my car, but... Oh, I ruined that. I was going to put him in the back of the car and drive him home. But then if I'm going on to a mission, I don't really want anything to happen to him, hey? Um... I've got to say <laughs> that I'm very concerned about what is going to happen with Madrazo. Very, very worried. Oh, what's that? We have a new question mark there for Trevor. That is so cool. But look, since all we have is Franklin right now, there's a couple of things I've been wanting to do for ages, like that and also we could possibly um do another oh the weed stash oh wow we've got so much here to do with franklin anyway that i'll be happy to sort of catch up a little bit with that if you know what i mean okay hi Hi, uh, Mr. Clinton. Sorry to bother you, but we have a young lady asking for a driver who's really got his finger on the pulse of Los Santos. And you're the only guy I can think of. Are you busy right now? Ah, uh, sure. Let's try yeah, that. Yeah, I should be able to handle that. She's at the Galileo Observatory on Galileo Avenue at Vinewood Hills. Thanks for this. Well, thank you. Um, yeah. I like these little side missions. They are fun. So where is that? Oh, there. Property. Okay. We're actually not too far from that. Oh, you know what? Maybe those missions come up when we are close to those destinations. Possibly. I am extremely concerned about Martin Madrazo. I think that um, Trevor and Michael are going to be in his little Sandy Shores trailer. I think that's where he's going to hide. 
uh, Mrs. Madrazo. That is so bad. And if it wasn't bad enough before by destroying Martin's house, we've now kidnapped his wife. So things are about to get a million times worse, I would say. Okay, so you... Hello? Oh, what's Hi, going on there? Oh, yes, I can. Drive to the best clothing store. Well, we know that it's going to be Ponce and Bees. But then that kind Any of thing is all store? relative. Shit, what exactly are you looking for? You tell me. The taxi depot said you were the guy in the know. I need something to wear for this big meeting I've got coming up. I'm pitching a movie idea to Ooh. some studio execs. Solomon? All right, I think I got a couple of options for you. Oh, thank you. I'm still new in town. I only moved to Los Santos last month. I think that if you're really serious about getting into the industry, you have to be LS based. This is huge for me. I've been reworking this screenplay for eight years now. I can't reveal too much, but it's going to completely redefine the science fiction slash erotica genre. That's a genre? <laughs> it will be if I nail this presentation. I need a look that screams powerful independent woman, but still vulnerable and prepared to do anything to get ahead. A little bit school teacher, a little bit school girl. Hmm. A hint of their mother, but not too much. That's what men want, right? Shit, a hint of my mother be a dime bag and a blowtorch. <laughs> oh, wow, <What>? that's raw. <sighs> I feel your pain. <laughs> my movie is... Sorry. My movie is really a metaphor for the struggles of growing up middle class during the economic boom of the 90s. I'm going to use it to heal. Hmm, this sounds awesome. I can't believe my luck. I didn't think it would happen this fast. I'm out at a bar, get talking to this older guy, and guess what? Turns out he's a big movie producer who thinks I've got huge potential. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of those around. Mm. Well, I'm meeting him at his apartment. Apparently, he only invites girls there if he's serious about taking it to the next level. Mm. Shit, it sounds like I should be taking you to an emanation instead of a clothes store. Mm -hmm. No, he was definitely legit. Really seemed to believe in my talent. Still, you watch yourself, all right? Mm. Don't worry about me. I've got some streets. I did three years of undergrad in Liberty City. Do I, so, do, do I, you want to hear the plot of the movie? I thought you couldn't reveal too much. <laughs> I'll just give you the skeleton synopsis. Okay, so we open on an alien life form, vibe TBD, on board a space shuttle hurtling towards Earth. After the alien makes it to Earth, it takes the body of an oh. exotic dancer, played by yours truly, <laughs> and searches for a male to mate with. She wants to create a baby, and eventually, a whole master race of damaged, dysfunctional alien stripper kids. <laughs> Working title, UFO. Whoa, I gotta be honest, I'll watch it. It's a genre mashup. Movie execs love those. I'm going to walk in there and be like, okay guys, before I say anything, I want you to think Shoulder of Orion meets Shore Whore. You're not gonna steal my idea, are you? No. I haven't registered it with the guild yet. I promise you, I'm not gonna steal that idea. <laughs> Definitely not. Well, I hope that uh, Ponce and Bees is the right place to take her. It's the fanciest place, but I also think Suburban could work well for her as well. So, will this work for you? Looks awesome. Thank you so much. You watch yourself at that meeting, mm. alright? Yeah, for sure. I'm quite concerned for her, I have to say. I'm not sure about that. You're beautiful. If I was brave, I'd ask you out. I, she said that she was from Liberty City, but scum of the earth. I don't recognize her. Excuse me? I haven't done anything. Idiots. <laughs> Um, gosh, we've got a bunch of things on the map now. Oh, Michael. So we can. Oh, is Michael? No, he's still not available now. But I think once we go into that M, it, he will come back as being available, I think. But we're not going to do the M as 
Franklin unless it's one of those missions that we have to do it as Franklin because I'm pretty sure you guys have mentioned there's one mission that you have to start it as someone else rather than starting it as the M for Michael. Okay guys, what I would like to do to finish off this one is go and see this because I haven't, but I'm also lazy. Oops. I don't know how to hail the taxi. <laughs> it's my own taxi company. I don't know how to hail the taxi. So I'll just ring up and get a taxi. They're busy? What? How? How do I hail? Oh man, come on. Okay, I'll drive to the destination then. Oh, there, you press right. Um, press triangle to enter as a passenger. I know how to hail the taxi. And I get free rides because we are in the business. So off we go for free. I'm happy. One perk of owning the cab company. Well, here we be. And there is our... Log 8-9-Zeta-3X. Hello? Wait. 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 Stop. Far out. What's the problem, huh? Wait. <laughs> Carbon-based life form. Check. Six feet tall. Check. Slightly excessive adipose tissue. <laughs> Normal distribution. Check. Readings are... Readings are... Oh, it's broken. It's broken. This little machine is broken again. Oh, Check. Oh, no. Star date 14-9-305. Time is... 7.89 past the Manc Meridian. We are clear. Whew. Greetings, CBL. Carbon-based oh, life carbon -based. form. Greetings, home. <laughs> Have you seen them, CBL? Seen who? I don't know. Aliens? They came to me last week. What? It was a brilliant joy. And a terrible confusion. And they were laughing and screaming and crying all at once. And some said, Omega, we come in peace. Omega. And others said, we have come to enslave you. <laughs> We are an infinitely intelligent race of super cosmic beings, and out of the six billion people on this planet, we have chosen you for no good reason. And just then, they were about to abduct me and do experiments on me when their ship crashed. Man, you done lost your motherfucking mind. And now, I've got to find the pieces. Man, bullshit. <laughs> look, look. See this? Hmm? What is it? If you see some, if you see some, oh. let me know. Yeah, yeah, okay, I will, man. Oh, I see. <laughs> That's actually really cool. Resuming data scan. So it's not, it fixed itself, did it? Okay. Negative quantum fluctuations. Frequency switch, 834 past the night. Okay, well, cool. Are you okay? What a freak! <laughs> All right, so we have to be on the lookout for uh, pieces. Spaceship parts are scattered throughout San Andreas. Find and collect them all for Omega. So that guy is called Omega. Can I actually? Oh, I can call Jimmy. Oh, wow. Hello. Franklin, hey, have you, like, heard from my dad? Oh, uh, yeah, man, and you should call him. He hasn't been back to the house for a while, and there's some creepy-ass dudes parked outside. Yeah, like I said, man, you should call him. He explained all that shit to you. What? So he's okay? Great. All right, don't tell him we talked. Yeah, all right, man, but call him. Hang on, what was that? There's some... Um... 
creepy dudes outside the house. But Jimmy, how do you know? You don't live there anymore. I am so confused right now. I do have some time before we finish up, so I may go ahead and do the first weed stash just to see what happens. Busy again? What's the point in owning a cab company when they never pick up their phone? I find that incredibly rude and I need a car <laughs> quite badly. <laughs> I'm stuck out in the desert with no vehicle. Oh man. All right, so we are pretty close to one of the weed stash locations. I may as well do that. While I'm here, so what exactly? Hang on. Hang on. Do I just have to drive around looking for it? I could be anywhere. I guess that's the whole point. It could be anywhere. Um, okay, well, we'll try. It's only going to be somewhere in the green circle. What are they doing? Oh, like, this thing could be literally anywhere. I'll go to the middle of the marker. See if that does anything. <laughs> nope. <laughs> okay, so I don't exactly know what the weed stash looks like, or what it entails. Oh, there! Oh, we found it. Who is this? The fool running around after. I found the truck you wanted. Hey, oh, good, good. Uh, now hurry. I need it in Vespucci in the next couple of hours. And, and watch yourself. I hear the cops have been snooping around over oh, there. Oh, no. Fantastic. All right. So we are going to be followed by cops, eh? Yeah, here we go. Shit, motherfuckers had eyes on the plate. Of course. Of course they did. Why wouldn't they? Alright, let's try our best to get out of here then. It's only two stars. We're gonna be okay. I think we woke Barry up as, as well. Which was fun. I'm gonna go in the... Um... The drain. Oh no. That probably is not the best idea. <gasps> That's honestly a terrible on, idea. How fucking slow is this thing? It's so slow. It's bad. Oh, we lost them though. That was cool. Actually, that worked out just perfectly. Just perfectly. Now I have to find out how to get out of here. Oh no. Where's an exit? Oh, okay. Let's go. Is this that location that we had the ride on those sea shark uh, things with Lamar and Trevor that time? Oh, exit, exit. Thank you. Okay, well that hasn't been too bad. We did that quite successfully. They do make it difficult to get out sometimes though when... Oh no, I've only got two minutes? Oh crap, they've given me a timer. I have a timer to do this. Are you joking? No. No, 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 no. I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it for one and a half minutes. Oh no. Okay, never mind. One and a half minutes. It's not. 
It's not gonna happen. Two kilometers in one minute 20. And this thing is so slow. I could try, but I don't think it's gonna be likely. I'll get it in, in this time. Nah. Damn, I gotta get the fuck on. Yep, we have less than a minute now. Bucker. Forty seconds. We have less than a kilometer to go. Eight hundred meters. Come on, seven hundred meters. Thirty seconds. Twenty-five seconds. not going to be able to make that now. Are you joking? I'm so close to it too. I'll try again. I'll try again. I should be alright this time. What I'm going to do is, I, it's, if the train tracks ruined me last time. Shit, motherfuckers had eyes on the plate. Yeah, we'll get it this time. I've got it. I sort of know the location it's in too. Okay, three and a half minutes. Let's try. Come on, come on! How fucking slow is this thing? It's so slow, man. Man, this sucks. <laughs> oh my god. Man, there's gotta be a better way to get weed legalized than this bullshit. No, I'm not going to be able to do this either. I have really wrecked this one. Maybe going down in the tunnels wasn't such a bad idea. Man, fuck, I'm never going to lose these assholes. I know, right? <laughs> Okay, so we should we should be out of their vision now. If we can sort of just oh no, I've gone in a dead end. Oh no, come on, I'm, I'm in a dead end now. Oh please. I'm in a dead end. I've stuffed up again. I think they've given me even less time. This time. Than last time. Does the time go down every time or something? I've got a minute and a half to get there. The same as last time. I'm not gonna make it. Man, I did not need that shit. This fucking smoke in, it better be worth it. Unfortunately, we're not gonna make it this time either. Which is so sad. If I hadn't had that crash the first time, I would have made it, but no. Nah. I'm not gonna make this one either. That's 
so close. Oh my god. Try it again. I <laughs> try it again. Before the cops come on, I'm going to pinpoint the location by myself. And I'm going to go this way. Shit, motherfuckers had eyes on the plate. Because this is a different way than what we did last time. This way might be okay. There's Lester's place. Is, I think that was Lester's garment factory. Maybe I'm mistaken. Three minutes. Oh man, I shouldn't have gone on the, on the... Oh, I did it. Okay, so I've lost the cops. I can get it this time. I can definitely get there this time. I've got three minutes to go two kilometers we're gonna make it <laughs> this has been probably the hardest thing that I've had to do so far uh, with such a, a difficult timed segment they don't give you much time to lose the cops and get to this place <sighs> but we're gonna make it this time persistence has prevailed Yes, we have 100% made it this time. Thank goodness. That was so hard. Oh my gosh, finally. There we go. Enjoy, Barry. That was so hard. <laughs> yeah, is that my pizza? Yeah. Hell no, yeah. fool, it's me. I'm here. Oh, well done! Mm. Hey, a true crusader for civil liberties. <laughs> uh, were you following? Follow? Man, that's an understatement. But look, don't trip out. We good. Now look, man, won't you come down and check this? I got shit to do, man. Yeah, well, I'll send someone when I know it's clear, okay? <laughs> Can't be too careful, and I'm dealing with some composting issues. <laughs> this is a bad burrito. Oh, my God. Shit, whatever, man. But that's more information than I need. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> that's disgusting. Let's take this crappy thing. This is the thing that I went up um, Mount Chiliad in over the weekend. What a choice. A bad choice. It's terrible. Mission time, 10 minutes. <laughs> Unwanted outcome, like what is that? All right, guys, going to leave this episode here. It was fun. A very difficult way to end it, though. A bit of a challenge. I'm glad I persisted, though. So persistence definitely does pay off in this. So I'm so happy that that is done. Next time we play, I think I'm going to have to go to the M on the map, which is Michael's house, because... I play this game a fair bit when I'm not recording, just hanging out with the characters and driving around and like hunting with Trevor or going clothes shopping or doing just chilling basically. And I don't want to have like a week without all three of my boys available. So I'm going to go and see the M on the map next time I record. So hopefully that will have Michael and Trevor back and being available. This has been such a fun episode, though I am very concerned going forward for Michael and Trevor after stealing Martin Madrazo's wife. Absolutely terrible. It's just gotten a lot worse now. So I don't Keep know what's going to happen with me. that, but let's find out soon okay guys i hope you enjoyed i'll see you again really soon in the next episode have a wonderful day bye